Hey, mister. These days ain't short. Big mouths, don't you? Bet you wouldn't miss some teeth. Looking for a man called Bronte. Have you heard of him? Don't know who you're talking about. Okay, never mind. Hey, friend, I I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the, the Bastille Saloon opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Appreciate it. Just watch yourself, he's got quite the reputation.
stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. You know, I, I've been drinking this. Beer. I swear. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's Hello? dirty little French secret. <laughs> that, that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we <clears> all get excuse me. away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, hey, friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. That's a bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. 
model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. Ah, God damn it. Yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Damn snitch! You better stop right now! Hey! Moron! Bye, mister! I <laughs> love <laughs> this country. Watch it. I'm telling you, a cute... Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh, yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte the kid was gonna show me before he robbed me now come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. 
Now, get out of here. What are you waiting for? Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Out of my damn way! Buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Hello! Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too. That too! <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. 
You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art, it's for idiots. If you say so. Ah, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. Hmm. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you, uh, but here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. If no one else will buy me a drink, I will go. Kind, sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Place like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. I'd really appreciate it if you take a look. Right here. Well, good morning. Hello again. That's great. Joe-san. Okay, bye now. Hey there. Hello there. You know he needs some Pardon. Help. Hello. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? Mm -hmm. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Well, you just let me know if I can help at all.
A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Just a, a few old books. Uh. What's back here? Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, seen better days. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door, now. Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Oh, hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Hay alguien ahí? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Por, por favor. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. ¿Quién eres? Ayúdanos. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Okay. Señor. I've been here. ¿A dónde los lleva? How may I help? Good to see you again. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. 
Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis.